Good evening, Mountaineers. Coming to you from the capital, this is Amira Mustafa. And I am Ben Velo. And for the next 10 weeks, we will be reporting the state's legislation on the legislature today. Before we get started with all of that, we figured we would take a few moments to just introduce ourselves. My name is Amira and I'm a graduating senior in the class of 2024. I'm from Charleston and I'm so excited to be a reporter for the legislature today. Youth involvement in politics has always been something I've advocated for, and that's why I urge everyone listening to please remember to vote. Our country is built on democracy, and it's our job as citizens to preserve this process. Every vote counts. I plan on majoring in English with a minor in political science, and I one day aspire to become a lawyer. My name is Ben, another graduating senior of the class of 2024. I grew up about nine miles from right here in a small, unincorporated city called Cross Lanes. It made it really easy for me to be personally involved in our state legislator growing up. My parents are English teachers with a passion for politics and a desire for a better West Virginia, and I think that it's their devotion to community efforts that have made me search for greater education in fields like psychology, political science, fields that will eventually lead me to spread acceptance in halls like this. Due to our shared passions, Ben and I decided to team up and spread political awareness to the youth on the legislature today. Our elected officials just got to their offices this past Wednesday, and so while they're getting settled in, we figured we would take a few moments to tell you why it is that they're here. Every year on the second Wednesday of January, our elected officials meet for 60 consecutive days in a period we call the legislative session. There are three branches of government, the executive, the judicial, and the legislative. But for the next few weeks, we will only be focusing on the legislative, but it is still imperative to focus and educate yourself on elected officials from all three branches. Where do these elected officials come from? Who do they represent and how are they elected? That all comes from the district. Our legislature is split up into two houses, the Senate and the House of Delegates. There are 17 senatorial districts and 100 delegate districts. Each senatorial district elects two senators while each delegate district elects one delegate. This totals to 34 senators and 100 delegates. Senators hold their terms for four years, whereas delegates only hold them for two. What makes this interesting is that half the Senate is up for election every election cycle, meaning that every two years you will vote for one senator and one delegate. If you are going to be 18 by this November, it is important that you educate yourself on every candidate on the ballot and make sure that you register to vote. If you have not done so already, register for free online if you have a driver's license or fill out a simple form and mail it to the Secretary of State's office. Once elected, both houses will elect their leaders. The Senate will elect their president, and the House of Delegates will elect their speaker. Due to both of these positions being already filled, we will be observing the work of Senate President Craig Blair and House Speaker Roger Hanshaw. While all of this information may seem daunting now, it will only get easier as we explore how our government affects your personal lives for the next 10 weeks. Have a great evening, and we hope to see you next week where we'll be talking about committees. My name is Ben Velo. And I'm Amir Mustafa. And this has been The Legislature Today.